We are not the name on the tombstone after we die. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. You know, Grandma used to say, she said, you know what, when you pass on, your soul leaves your body. You don't even own that body anymore. You're given this body for your lifetime. Take wonderful care of it, use it wisely, and use it to ser serve your divine purposes. And Grandma believed that even when we died, we probably never take our name with us. And we don't take our credit rating with us. We don't take our things with us. Our soul is a separate part of who we are. And yet it, it resides within who we are during this lifetime. And so she always believes that the soul takes such, uh, uh, it's so important to pay attention to our souls. And Grandma believed that when we leave here, even the name on the tombstone is no longer ours. Our driver's license really doesn't belong to us anymore. The things that we owned really go elsewhere and are not ours. So use your things um, as good stewards. Grandma used to say, use them wisely, use them to serve your divine purpose while you're here, your divine purposes, the things that you are meant to do. Do them well. You're given enough to create and, and, and perform your divine purpose in life. Your purpose is the things that you're meant to do that is good in life. And the rest, well, whatever happens to it after happens to it. She said, that's not ours to really concern ourselves about once we've passed on. But Grandma believes that the soul, um, you know, went, goes to a heavenly place and, um, and how it looks and how it performs and whether it has a name. Um, she said she didn't know those answers. And yet what she believed is that the things that people often find so important in this lifetime um, she said, once we leave here as the person that we are, we don't take even our identity of who we were with us. We, are, we go back to being our soul. And so before our soul came here, she believed that it didn't have an, it didn't have a worldly identity. It had a spiritual identity, she said, which looks and is very different than how we see an identity here. So I just thought I would come on here and talk about that, that some people get so wrapped up into worldly possessions and worldly things, and those can be important while we're here, and yet they only last for this lifetime. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe. And one thing Grandma said too, she said even our relationships here are for this lifetime. They may live on with us through eternity, and yet they may not be in the same form um, as they were while we were here. Okay, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.